sophomore analytical chemistry class, and that teaches people how to measure things and measure them properly. But then I also teach instrumental analysis, which is all about the, uh, well, the instruments that we use to do this. I teach environmental chemistry, which is one of my keen interests, and then inorganic chemistry, and one of my favorite classes is teaching the senior seminar. For me, I can be in the worst mood. I can be crying about something. It's horrible and I'm just wound up. And I walk into the classroom and it's not their problem. I've got to be there for them. And I find that within the first five minutes of class, even if I'm having the worst day ever, suddenly I'm having a great time. And so teaching is kind of magical for me. I explain chromatography by students going to the outlet mall and different interests in stores. It's like a molecule wanting to go onto a surface and it likes the surface, it hangs out there. If you like the store, you're gonna hang out there. So I try to bring the analogies in and sometimes that'll make the class light up. They're like, oh, it's going to the outlet mall. I get it. There are three things that excite me most that are going on in chemistry. Um, green chemistry, trying to do what we do but not so harmfully. Um, biofuels are really cool and different ways of alternative energy. And then I suppose it's a buzzword for most people in sciences, but nanotechnology is very interesting and in what we can do with the smaller dimensions of matter. Wood degradation is my primary area of research and that is for biofuels. More and more often I see the students get it by talking to each other because I've started doing more group work and active learning. So I can lecture as clear as I possibly can and it's not until somebody actually works with it themselves that they're ever gonna get it. Students here don't have a choice about becoming involved in research, in particular in the sciences. Every single student is going to do research and they're gonna do research with incredible minds and with great stuff. And so the students who go here as an undergraduate get more research than anywhere that I know of. Model trains is a hobby I picked up for my husband. He had them as a kid and then they were dusty and in a box for ages. I liked the commuter train. I like trains in general. They're cool. And when I realized that they make model trains of the trains I used to ride to work, I got my own set and now we've got a whole layout in the basement where we change the track around and make hills and you can kind of create your own little world. Um, so the liberal arts makes you empathetic. It makes you articulate makes you educated on science to the point where you could hopefully understand some of the scientific debates that go on in policy. And I really like the idea of the whole person. So for me, I like working at a liberal arts institution because I care about the whole person and it's valuable.